Do you want to have low and high alarms, but you are using the Freestyle Libre and you think that it's impossible? Well, then you are in the right place to learn everything on how to turn your Freestyle Libre into a real-life continuous glucose monitor with alarms. Hi, I'm Camille, also known as Ned Diabetic, and I do loads of videos about diabetes technology, including the Freestyle Libre, as I've been using it for about three years now, and I have been using my Freestyle Libre uh, as a real-life CGM with alarms for about a year, and I've recently realized that I have done loads of videos covering different transmitters and different components of um, how to turn your Libre into a CGM but I haven't actually done one video that covers the entire topic and how it works so here we go and so Freestyle Libre system uses NFC near field communication which is also used in contactless technology such as Apple Pay so your glucose information is only transferred to your Libre reader or your Libre link app on your mobile device when you scan your glucose sensor and so your glucose information is not constantly being sent to your mobile device like with the Dexcom G6 now in case you don't know I don't usually wear two CGMs I'm just comparing the G6 accuracy with the Libre and um, I'll do the video about it at some point and this live blood glucose level that's an average of both in case you are interested and so this scanning mechanism is great because your devices are not constantly bombarding you with information and you are in control of your data. However, that does mean that Freestyle Libre is not able to provide you with low and high alarms. And so this created a market for third party devices that are able to collect your glucose information from your Freestyle Libre locally and then are able to send it over Bluetooth to your smartphone so you can receive it constantly and more importantly receive low and high alarms. There's loads of devices that are able to do this including some do-it-yourself projects but there are two real key players in this area that you've probably heard of on social media over the last couple of months and they are called Meow Meow or as I call it M and Night Rider. They both sent your blood glucose data to your smartphone and I have done a very comprehensive comparison of those two devices as I've used them both uh, and I'm going to link it in the, I in, in the description and for the rest of this video I am going to focus on M on my meow as I personally believe that it is better than Night Rider. Now at this point I want to make it absolutely clear that I have received M Transmitter for free in exchange for my honest opinion and to do a video um, review which is going to be here and also in the description. Ever since recording that video I have been talking about this device because I love it and I use it every single day and um, I really really like it. So the M Transmitter is positioned next to the Freestyle Libre which makes the entire CGM combo very very flat and I would say that that it's a little bit flatter than the Dexcom G6 combo but more on that in my Libre versus Dexcom G6 comparison. You attach this transmitter using stickers that are included in the box or you can also use um, big adhesives and that's my personal favourite. Also, other ways of attaching your M transmitter and your uh, Bluecon transmitter are in the video comparison linked in the description. Readings are sent over Bluetooth to your phone as soon as you attach the device. This transmitter is also fully waterproof as it has the same waterproof standard as the Freestyle Libre sensor. This transmitter is also fully rechargeable so you can reuse it after the battery dies and you can charge it again, reuse it and charge it again, reuse it. All transmitters including M work with Freestyle Libre sensors from all um, countries and allow you to extend your Freestyle Libre sensor by about 12 hours so you should be able to get 14 days and 12 hours from every single Libre sensor. All transmitters including M can be used with community built CGM apps for Android and iPhone. The best iPhone app is called Spike and in order to download you need to request access to it on spikeapp.com. Details on how to do it in my Spike video linked in the description. I have been personally using Spike for months and I absolutely love it. In terms of Android, the best app seems to be Extra Plus link to how to get it in the description. However, some Android users, especially Samsung users, face some Bluetooth connectivity issues and in those cases, Glim is the recommended app. All of those apps provide low, high alarms and setup 
is very easy. Due to the fact that your blood glucose readings are now sent over Bluetooth to your phone, you can also display them on your smartwatch, just like your Dexcom. These community apps work with loads of smartwatches from the Apple Watch to cheap Pebble and everything in between. Lastly, I want to mention that these apps actually use a different algorithm to your Freestyle Libre Reader algorithm, so you are likely to see some minor differences in your readings. From my personal experience, I calibrate my Spike app twice. The first um, calibration is just after the one hour warm up time, and the second calibration is about 18 hours after that. Depends on uh, when my blood glucose is flat, and those two calibrations are done by a blood sample. And um, by using this technique, my spike readings are often more accurate um, than my Freestyle Libre reader readings. And so that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now, I've also realized that actually um, this hasn't been updated, but it's because it's getting two CGM sources and Night Sky is going a little bit crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you enjoyed this and you've learned something new. Um, subscribe if you were interested in diabetes technology and more videos like this. And if you are a regular viewer, then please let me know in the comments um, when you would like me to upload my videos. I am planning to make a YouTube schedule. I upload four videos a month anyway, but I upload them very randomly and I think having a specific day um, every single week will make it easier for me and easier for you as well so which day of the week would you like me to upload let me know and I will give you an update on that in September when I get my university timetable so thanks so much for watching and see you next time bye bye